We're told here is a graph of a segment of f of x is equal to x, that's this here, and then they say h of x is equal to 1 third times f of x minus 5. Graph h. So think about how you would approach this before we do this together. All right, now I'm going to do this step by step. So before doing all of h of x, first I just want to think about what would 1 third of f of x look like, and then we're going to think about what happens if we then were to subtract 5. So 1 third of f of x, Whatever f of x is for a given x, it's just going to be one third of that. So when x is equal to three, instead of it, f of, f of three is three, one third of that would be one. Similarly, f of zero is zero, one third of that is zero. f of negative three is negative three, one third of that is negative one. So what I'm drawing here, what I'm drawing here, and I could put those big endpoints so it looks like a segment right over here. This is the graph of one third f of x. Now, if we want to do one third of f of x minus five, what we need to now do is shift this red graph down by five. So whatever one third f of x is, it's now going to be five less than that. So if we take this point and we shift down one, two, three, four, five, we go down here, actually maybe scroll down a little bit. And if we were to take this point and we were to shift down one, two, three, four, five, maybe scroll down a little bit more so that you could see that, you get there. If you shift this point down five, you come right over here, and now we would shift, actually let me do this in another color, it would look like, it would look like this. So this right over here is the graph of h of x. This is one third f of x minus five. Let's do another example. So let's take this step by step. And what I am going to do here is make a little bit of a table. You will eventually realize that this just shifts the graph over. But if we take an x over here, and then we take an x minus three, and then we evaluate what f of x minus three is going to be. Let's say, let's do this at x equals six, three, and zero. And you might realize in a second why I'm doing those points. When x is, six, x minus three is three, and then f of x minus three is going to be the same thing as f of three, which is equal to three. So for this part right over here, if I just want to graph f of x minus three, when x equals six, it is equal to three. By the same logic, when x is three, x minus three is zero, three minus three, and so f of x minus three is going to be the same thing as f of zero, which is equal to zero. So when x is equal to three, f of x minus three is equal to zero. You can see that when you subtract a number here from within the function, we're not subtracting it from the function, we're subtracting it from x before it's input into the function, it's actually shifting us to the right by three. And to verify that, we could try when x is zero, x minus three is negative three. And so f of x minus three is the same thing as f of negative three, which is equal to negative three. So when x is equal to zero, f of x minus three is equal to negative three. So it would look like, it would look like this. Just this part, f of x minus three, let me write that. That's f of x minus three. It shifted us to the right by three. Now let's just think about what that is if we were to multiply it by negative two. Well there, we're just going to scale all of these values by negative two. So when x is six, if we were getting to three before, well you multiply that by negative two, you're now going to be at negative six. So instead of that point, we're now going to be at negative six. And let's take this point over here. If we were at negative three before, and now we are multiplying by negative two, we're now going to be at positive six. So it's going to look like this. So this right over here is the graph of that segment of negative two times f of x minus three. Now let's finish all this up. Let's do the full g of x and add the four. Well that's, we just, we're just going to shift every point up by four. So this point is gonna go from six to 10 this point is, go from, is going to go from negative six, shifting it up by four is going to go to negative two, and so we are going to have 
a segment that looks that looks like this. And we're done. This right over here is g of x is equal to negative 2 times f of x minus 3 plus 4. And we're done.